Constance Jamie, and um, specialize in equine fine art photography, and, and really specialize in studio photography for horses. So I started riding horses in Switzerland, and I've always been attracted to horses as far back as I can remember. I was actually born in the UK, and then when we moved back to Switzerland, I, I was like 10 years old, I think, and I kept begging my dad, like, I wanna ride horses, I wanna, you know, get me some lessons or something. So we started riding, we found a, a place that bred quarter horses, and, which is an American breed, and he knew them from when he was a kid, because he used to ride a little bit of Western style. So we started with them, and they kind of introduced us to cutting, and one thing led to another, and. You know, I just fell in love with the sport and horses, and I wanted to make them my life. So um, I decided to apply to college in the U.S. so that I could be closer to the horses and to all the action. I mean, cutting is, it, it was growing over there, but if you wanted to be good at it, you had to do it in the U.S., so that's what I did. And so really it's the horses that brought me into photography because I, I kind of view competition as a form of expression and then photography is just you know for me it's another form of expression and and both for me revolve around horses and, and they are what gave me this desire to express my passion for them more and in different ways. After graduating college I called for the world championship and won that and then I needed another challenge and I've, I've been dabbling in photography a little bit so I decided to go learn the basics and went to New York City and did a program at the New York Film Academy. And that's really where I was introduced to studio lighting for the first time. And obviously in the setting of New York City, you're in a city and, and so the kind of photography you're doing, it's a lot of street photography and a lot of portraiture, studio portraiture. So we kind of learned the basics of the studio lighting and I just thought, I really enjoyed the, the fine art, the studio aspect of photography, and I thought if I could combine horses and studio work, you know, I could come up with something unique. And people love bringing their horses in here and getting, I guess, unique portraits of them that they can hang in their house and use as artwork. And I, I really enjoy that side of things. I enjoy working with horse owners and, and meeting all these different horses been lucky to have some really great famous horses in here like Metallic Cat and Hashtags and Murata's Little Sue. So that's been really exciting. I think I also have the fine art side of the business and you know I think I want to expand more on that. Really what's funny is that each horse is so they're all individuals like people and when you when you are around them enough and you get to know them enough you realize that they each have their own personalities. And, and that's also something that I try to bring out in my work is those individual personalities. I mean, I, I know I'm not the only person that feels the way I do about horses, and there's this undeniable attraction to them, and I think in part it has to do with the freedom they represent and the power they give you. Um, but then I think there's also like a, an interesting historical factor like, I think civilization in a way is built on the horse. I mean, we've been using horses to work since forever. I, I think over generations, it's almost like you breed cow into a horse when you're breeding cutting horses. And I feel similarly, horses have been bred into humans. It's, it's a connection that is different from any other um, human being animal connection I think out there and I think it has to do with the fact that horses have served a purpose for a very long time and so I kind of I like exploring that relationship too and it's something that I do every day when I'm around the animals and, and I think that's where my fascination comes from.